if you don't know what you're doing as an educator, as a teacher, even as a professional, even if you're not in education, even as a professional, if you don't know what you're doing, AI will be more of a problem to you than good. Because sometimes even the AI goes into hallucination, right? It goes into hallucination. Human beings will also do that sometimes. They ask you a question, and you're just going off key, you don't even, you are not on point. So the same thing applies to the AI. So if it goes into hallucination, how do you know the information is given is right or wrong? It means if it's in hallucination mode and you don't know it because you didn't use your professional eye, you are not professional enough to know when it's giving you wrong information, you just go and implement. And what happens? It destroys all the work you have been building over time. So it's important that you have to even be a professional teacher. You have to be a normal professional that knows their onions before you start using AI, else it will backfire. But neuro education, right? Neuro education, the brain and learning and teaching and all that. So under neuro education, we have the neuroscience and education. We have the psychology and uh, educational psychology and neuropsychology. So anything neuro has to do with the brain, right? Anything education has to do with pe the pedagogy, right? So when you merge them, it's now telling you that this is not just uh, a one-way traffic, the brain and learning or the brain and teaching. No, it's a dynamic. So you cannot say one surpasses the other. The way you learn is just that bef before now, uh, before, before the uh, school, uh, modern school started, what happened is, People did not take note of what happens in the brain when it's learning, right? So modern times, people started having uh, x-rays, having devices that they can check and see what the brain looks like, how the eye moves. That's why you have eye trackers and all that. How the brain actually functions when it's learning certain subject. So that's why uh, neuro education came into play. So everything about the learning process is documented Device, with device, with psychology, with any of those uh, metrics. But for the teachers, nobody knows what is going through your mind. And that is where it becomes what very interesting with artificial intelligence. Now, I see it like this. If you are going to connect, if, if, we want, if we are going to use the brain, the human brain, anybody's brain, right, as uh, the middle ground of education, teaching, and learning, right? You can't teach without a brain. You can't learn without a brain, right? If we're going to use it, so I'll define it as when the brain is expressing itself with our sense organs, right? When it's expressing itself with our sense, with our sense organs, that is what? Teaching. When the same brain is absorbing information, with the sense organs, it becomes worth learning. For me, my prominent way of learning is patterns. So the brain works with patterns. That's very important. And the brain likes what? Hypotenses. So you see a pattern, okay, you start making suggestion, and that becomes an hypotenses. You are not sure of it, but you just know that, okay, this, 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 this can be the result are you getting it? So that's hypothesis. Now, since the brain is good in routine tasks, right? So what does AI do? Or how does AI augment at that point? By handling tedious data collection and analysis. Generative AI automate tasks that frees people to focus on higher level thinking. If you're writing a project, you are used to what? Collecting data, right? What if you can, you're already used to collecting data. No matter how you collect data, it's still data collection, right? Depends where you are collecting it. Now, what if you have a tool, like your AI, that can collect the data for you while you do on other aspect of your project? It makes your work fast, right? So you don't go about, like I told you, the internet has so much information that you don't normally, you don't, as a human being, need to cram everything, right? So what does AI do? Collect those data researches that have been done online, that people have posted, right? You don't need to redo it again. Now you now have time to what? Focus on your project.